Hello, this is Dipesh from SDS. Today I am going to demonstrate Aqualab 40E water activity meter from Meter Group US. This is the most popular and widely accepted instrument in the field of water activity meter across the globe. First of all, let me show you what comes in the package of Aqualab water activity meter and how it looks like. So this is a benchtop instrument lightweight and small in dimension but very technically equipped. So in the package you will get the main instrument stackable cups with lids you get 50 cups in the package and you will get standards for verification and calibration of instrument. So we have the entire range of calibration vials starting from 0.15 water activity up to 1 water activity. We also have this cleaning kit which consists of Kim wipes, cleaning solution, deionizing water for cleaning and after cleaning to remove the residual moisture we have activated charcoal. So using this cleaning kit we will uh, tell you how to clean your instrument during installation or in case you want to see the videos there are videos available on YouTube and the links are also given on the box. Moving on to the instrument. This is a plug and play instrument. You only have to attach the power cable to it right here and you have to switch it on like this. So. The first screen which will appear here is measurement screen which shows the water activity up to 4th decimal place and temperature. So once we switch on the instrument we have to wait for at least 15 to 20 minutes to for the warm up. So till the warm up is continuing I will show you the component of the machine. This is the bottom chamber where we have to place our sample and then we have to close the chamber and then move this lever to the read position. So how it works? So this is basically a chilled mirror dew point sensor based instrument. I am repeating chilled mirror dew point sensor. So we have a small mirror, the small dot you can see here. This is a chilled mirror and this is the optical sensor. So when we close this chamber, the mirror will exactly sit above the optical sensor. So what happens when we place the sample, the moisture will migrate in the chamber and just because we are chilling this mirror, it will record the dew point temperature and from that dew point temperature, we will get measurement of water activity. To measure the dew point, we have this optical sensor which is throwing infrared light to this and when the condensation happens on the mirror, it will exactly note the dew point temperature. So this is how it works. This is the thermopile which is going to measure your sample temperature. And the small fan here is used to circulate air and which will enhance the rate of equilibrium. To read any sample, we have to fill this cup which has a volume of 15 ml and you can see a ring type in the middle of the cup. So you have to fill your sample till the ring only. It means you have to fill the cup half. Though there is no restriction of the quantity in water activity but it is good to fill it half just because it should not spill inside the chamber and that because that may serve, serve as a contamination factor. So once you have filled the cup you just have to close the chamber and press the lever like this. So you will see the test has started and you can see the disc is rotating. So generally the test time should be less than 5 minutes. In single component sample it can be as less as 1 minutes or let's say 2 minutes but maximum time it should take 5 minutes. Again at this note the test time depends on the sample type 
whether it is homogeneous and it has some preservative added it is oil based or something so it all depends on sample type the test time moving on to the instrument features let me tell you about this you can see you can do calibration which can be done by two ways you can either use the vials for calibration or you can set it to default for vials you just have to insert the vial into the chamber and then start the test and it will read and you can change the offsets and default will set the factory calibration aqualab 40 e has a feature to change the temperature so by default it is set at 25 degree centigrade which is more or less ambient air and you can change this value from 15 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade 15 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade in the gradation point 1 you have to save it in case you want to change here we have temperature equivalence which is right now showing less than delta 4 degree centigrade it means it can detect if either the sample is hot or cool with the temperature we have set so right now this instrument at temperature 25 degree centigrade it it will measure the sample which has a temperature up to 29 or 21 it means plus 4 or minus 4 so that has because water activity is energy dependent so higher temperature may lead to false results so you can just change it also you can go as less as 0.1 degree centigrade but for that you have to equilibrate your sample prior testing here you can select the sensor type which is only dew point in uh, 40e there are other models which have two sensors so you can select sensor from here here you can uh, select the mode of testing we have different mode of testing like single it means you have to do a single test you have to select single generally we do this only in continuous continuous means it will keep on doing the test until you open the liver in custom mode you can select that my two consecutive readings should be in the range of 0 0.001 difference range would be 0 0.001 so it will keep on repeating the test until it gets a difference this only in the two consecutive testing similarly we have low emitting mode low emitting modes basically is for sample which emits moisture which emits water in at a very slow rate so this is an older model there is one more test is to introduce in this uh, aqualab 40e which is iso 18787 rest of the things are date you can change date time regional formatting that includes languages admin settings this is one of the important feature you can set a master admin password and that admin can make 25 users and all the regulations of the user will be done by admin only he can log calibration or the any other uh, settings for the users so that you can do in admin mode auto save on it means that it can save results in the memory let me tell you uh, aqualab 40 can store 8000 results in the instrument once the test is completed the instrument gives beeps and you can select those also diagnostics so it will give you the health of the instrument that how it is performing if anything goes wrong you will see in the diagnostics window rest is about the instrument the serial number and company details now after configuration we have the data I already mentioned that instrument can store 8000 data points so you can view the data date wise and when you are saving the results you can add annotations also so here at the top it will tell you about the sample which you have annotated during the test so it will give you information like water activity at what temperature it was tested test time who did the test admin or user the date and 
which sensor you have used and you want to delete data just come here and delete the entire data so no one can manipulate the data inside the instrument 